Uh, this is a uh, pyrolysis unit for uh, biochar and uh, this is a complete uh, continuous unit where they are using uh, different type of biomasser. This is the eucalyptus, needles, this is the rice husk. So here is the pira. So there is a sprue feeder, it goes here and inside it burns. There is also a peter uh, below or a burner below. And uh, here uh, the flue gases will go up from the uh, burner and there is no smoke, you can see. And uh, the biochar comes here and it gets collected here. This is a uh, one ton per day capacity unit. And also there is a facility behind to collect uh, wood gene, vinegar, uh, bio oil, bio and tar and other uh, byproducts also. So this uh, unit can also be made into uh, the mobile uh, pyrolysis unit and uh, uh, individually people can adopt this kind of units uh, for producing uh, uh, this uh, biochar or even charcoal or uh, even they can reprocess it to make it activated carbon. Uh, good morning. Uh, I am Sampath. Uh, we have been working on uh, pyrolysis from 2008. Mainly we started with the plastic to uh, plastic pyrolysis where we convert all kind of a mixed plastics waste into oil. And now we are trying to take oil, methane gas and then the carbon black. So we uh, process the most difficult plastic that cannot be recycled. For example, uh, fiber reinforcement, plastic, carpet waste, uh, resins, adhesive tapes, etc. And then my MLT flames and the plastic found in municipal waste, plastic found in the legacy waste, etc. Then uh, we have been setting a plant uh, right from 5 tons per day to 20 tons per day. And from the day one, we always uh, designed and executed a continuous plant. Then we moved to torrification. Uh, for that, we uh, tied up with IIT Guwahati in the year 2021 because the NTPC wanted to go for a torrification tenders and we participated and we are one of the one of the only four uh, approved vendors for NTPC for the country for doing torrification. So NTPC has set up uh, uh, one plant in Varanasi to process uh, 600 tons of municipal waste into torrified coal and that coal they are using it for their uh, replacing it as a fossil fuel coal. And uh, now they have already floated tender for uh, Bhopal, Noida, Gorakhpur, uh, and then Tubli, the etc. So we have been applying for the tender. Then came the biochar opportunity, where we also, since they are pyrolysis, uh, in the field of pyrolysis, we thought we'll do the biochar, biochar also. So we started um, experimenting with the different uh, feedstock. Uh, we started with the sawdust, uh, uh, vice husk, cotton stock, Cotton cob, uh, corn cob uh, we have not tried, but corn cob also we want to do that. And we have done the um, uh, molasses waste. We have done um, uh, the pine needles, which I think which is very common in, uh, very dangerous stuff in uh, Haryana. I mean, Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Himachal Pradesh, because it catches fire and then in the deep uh, forest fire cave comes only because of pine needles. So we have tried that also. So we have um, uh, designed... Um, for the farmers, we are designed for the industries. So we have a one, starting from one ton per day plant onwards to 200 tons per day plant. So yep. when we started the uh, biochar, so we wanted to try with the different materials. So we brought uh, fine needles, which is a uh, fire hazard in the forest, especially in Uttarakhand and uh, Himachal Pradesh and things. And that's why we tried that. We tried juliflora, we tried eucalyptus. And we tried dry husk and sawdust is a common thing. And then cotton stock is the one which is, I think, everybody is looking at. Okay. So we started uh, using the cotton stock and do this. The difference between um, the rice husk and cotton stock is, rice husk can be uh, mainly used for uh, uh, farmers. It re uh, reused in the, in, the, in, the, uh, in the field, actually. So where we are talking about NPK value. Yeah. And um, in the cotton stock, being a good product, they want to have a high fixed carbon. So we, uh, we, then we thought uh, we will do it at 700 degrees centigrade. So we, high temperature, may, when we process the cotton stock, it is giving you better fixed carbon. Fixed, uh, fixed carbon. And then we also have some, um, in the system, there's a, uh, we keep the, uh, the char for some time, 
for a soaking time we'll give and uh, so basically we are with uh, the residential time of uh, the reactor in that the process get whole thing get process and come the advantage of um, um, continuous process is there's no emission yes. in the atmosphere so whatever comes it's uh, uh, the volatile volatiles are recycled and then it's burnt and uh, the chimney doesn't smoke it's always clean and uh, so the and the carbon is uh, quite good because there's no oxygen goes in say there's no ash comes so the ash content is very very low and we get a more uh, pure so we have also tried uh, with uh, bamboo a uh, bamboo char also we tried we want to do one project with the iit guwahati and that project also we are done so hopefully we'll do that also so uh, with our experience of uh, 15 years in paralysis we can handle any kind of uh, uh, material in a biochar yeah good sir i think the uh, from hyderabad uh, already we have this progressive biochar society and many people focused on biochar uh, right and you coming from the same place with this rnd as well as extension correct across india yes i think the the biochar uh, movement or uh, revolution that is happening already yes and this will contribute a lot yes. i would also recommend uh, yeah uh, to many people to visit this plant uh, and understand then adopt yes for that uh, this uh, biofuel policies yeah. and biochar policies yeah. and everything are integrated and even as a policy also we will also recommend that uh, this kind of uh, initiatives i'm dr rezaz ahmed uh, i i'm working as r&d head in pyro green energy limited so this is our 1 uh, ton per day uh, biochar making machine so this machine works with uh, all types of biomass so it we feed the biomass raw material here for uh, now we are feeding this rice husk so there is a screw conveyor inside so this screw conveyor pushes this uh, biomass into the reactor down and the reactor also has screw conveyor so reactor speed we can maintain 1 rpm 2 rpm 3 rpm depending on that the residence time we can decide so that material slowly processes and down we have the furnace there we use again the same biomass for heating so that heat is taken by the reactor okay and the material is processed and comes to this end and this is the collection tank biochar collection tank there the flue gases they are the flue gases from furnace not from the reactor yeah and the gases from the reactor are rerouted into the furnace again okay. that one or they can also be connected to the condenser and the bio what you call bio oil or wood vinegar can be collected per day one ton per day capacity so from here this is the gases from the reactor hmm. those are exhaust gases from the furnace this is furnace so they go and also negligible whatever we get is negligible flue gases and these gases here you can connect one condenser and you can condense and collect uh, bio oil or wood vinegar and part of that can be recirculated and released into the furnace so they burn in the furnace as in reburn again reburn it so that uh, fuel consumption decreases so these are two separate uh, but yeah separate uh, ha yeah, furnace is separate this is reactor reactor this is this two type work good here two type that uh, speed you can uh, maintain if you want more residence time you can keep one rpm run more more less residence time 2 rpm 3 rpm depending on the biomass that what we did in, do in the laboratory if the residence time what period you are using pull some briquettes we use ah, okay. and once it is heated we feed material actually there is automatic uh, feeder here there are uh, primary air blower secondary air both are so because we require both whatever the volatile matter comes that also require air otherwise that those are so more more that they bore the river in front that's why to to blow a complete pump it can this uh, what is the crew on the big thing sir this is a carbotech we call carbotech biochar machine LD part so this one was slowly trying to up to 100 ton with your neck yeah yeah 3 ton 5 ton 20 this is the same only size increase but this wetland of sea view 
This is uh, mild steel, but uh, it, uh, we use um, uh, stainless steel for the clients. But what is it? Temperature it up to like. At our, here you can maintain uh, 550, even uh, 500, 560. If it is stainless steel, you can go up to 900. I am Dr. Ezaz Ahmed. I am working as a R&D research and development head at Pyro Green Energy Barrett Limited. So we are at our Patanchir R&D facility. So here we are making, uh, for the past 15-20 years, we have been making machines for reactors for uh, uh, plastic to uh, fuel. Uh, and now we started making uh, machines for biochar also from biomass. So this biochar has many applications uh, for starting from soil amendment to the reduction reducing agent in steel industry and uh, also we are testing mixing a small amount of biochar in concrete with, and we are going to test its strength. Okay. okay. Yeah. So this, uh, this is 150 by 150 by 150. This uh, is used for testing that uh, concrete lab for the com compression strength on the other properties. So if this, uh, we also make, a, we are making some three formulations along with control without any biochar. Then we compare the strength of all these when we take it out. And also we test using, uh, there is software called uh, uh, Design Expert that also we use and we get some 10 to 12 formulations. We also test that and we kick it out one best one from, from that. So in our we, we also have laboratory in uh, Medipatna. There we continuously test our product, oil and biochar, and uh, propose how to in, increase the quality of that oil and biochar. So our, it's our continuous process, not that simply the baking machines and leaving. So continuously we develop our machines and uh, products. Book, sir. We can introduce what is this one? Yeah, this is a uh, for experimental uh, reactor, small, same pyrol pyrolyzer, experimental. So if you before doing anything, we do in a small quantity. Yeah. Uh, working in a larger quantity is uh, not good. Uh, yeah. So we fix the parameters. This one and also in laboratory we have one very small also. There also we test. Here also we test. Then it goes to the bigger okay. parameters we set. Temperature, residence time and uh, the, uh, how much moisture content we have to leave, how much dryness we require, all these parameters. Then we test after that. After that only we send samples to the third party lab laboratory.
you have seen a very good plant today, pyrochar, and there's a need for equipment like this to be made available because Kontiki type or other equipment and have released a lot of ga hot gases. In this, the recovery is full. From biomass, we get biochar, bio oil, and uh, syngas. Many value added products can be made. The main challenge now is effective cost. And I also suggest to Mr. Sampat to make it portable. Because making it fixed position, biochar is problematic. But there are portable designs. This design can easily put in a container. You can make it portable. A portable design will have your help. And that is popular in the US also. In India, I mean, the cost is a very important factor. We will work with the government for subsidy. There should be subsidy for the modern plants available.